Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on GitOps series. In our previous video, we covered several fundamental and intermediate topics on GitOps. This video tutorial has been prepared by Dheerat Sen, a DevOps engineer at Thinkinix Technologies. In this video, we are going to understand how GitOps is different from DevOps. And if DevOps is already well established in the industry, why is GitOps now gaining significant attention? So, let's get started. First, let's break down the term DevOps. So, DevOps is the combination of software development, Dev, and operations, Ops team, that works together to achieve a common goal. The goal is to shorten the development life cycle while frequently delivering features, fixes, and updates in collaboration with quality assurance. In a sense, it helps teams to work more efficiently together to achieve faster and more reliable releases. DevOps emphasizes a culture of collaboration, automation, continuous integration, and continuous delivery. These practices help organizations achieve quicker software releases and more dependable deployments. The principles of DevOps can be applied to any organization whether it's a tech industry or another industry aiming to streamline its development processes. DevOps teams often leverage tools like Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible, Terraform, and others to implement these practices effectively. Now, let's look at GitOps. GitOps is a methodology to manage and operate infrastructure using Git as the single source of truth. The GitOps approach is built upon the principle of DevOps. In our previous video, we covered these fundamental topics. So if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check the link in the description below. In GitOps, any changes committed to Git are automatically reflected in the application environment on the server. GitOps relies heavily on automation and is characterized by version control for managing infrastructure. Tools like Argo CD and Flux are popular for implementing GitOps in practice. This approach enhances operational stability as teams can easily roll back to previous version if something goes wrong. Additionally, GitOps ensures consistency across environments. Since the entire infrastructure configuration is stored in Git, it becomes easy to replicate the same setup across development, staging and production environments thereby reducing configuration drift. This model also simplifies audit trails and compliance checks, as all changes are tracked through Git's version history. But how do DevOps and GitOps differ? In a nutshell, DevOps is a broad philosophy focused on collaboration and improving the entire software delivery process, whereas GitOps narrow this focus to managing infrastructure and applications specifically through Git. Now let's understand the key differences between DevOps and GitOps. So, how do DevOps and GitOps compare? First, we have philosophy. DevOps aim to break down silos, enhance collaboration between development and operations teams, and optimize the CI-CD pipeline. On the other hand, GitOps centralizes operations around Git as the single source of truth, with a strong focus on automating infrastructure management. Next, we have tools and workflows. DevOps utilizes CI-CD tools like Jenkins, CircleCI, or GitLab CI, along with tools like Docker and Kubernetes for streamlined deployment. GitOps uses Git along with the deployment tools like Argo CD or Flux CD to automatically reconcile your infrastructure state. Next, we have approach. DevOps often involves a mix of manual and automated processes, while GitOps relies entirely on a declarative approach, where you specify what the desired state of the system should be in Git, rather how to achieve it. Lastly, we have infrastructure management. In DevOps, infrastructure can be managed via traditional methods or IAC tools like Terraform. In GitOps, infrastructure is treated as code stored in Git, ensuring that changes are version controlled and auditable. Now, both approaches are powerful, but which one should you choose? 
If your goal is to streamline the development and operations processes while fostering collaboration, DevOps is the way to go. But if you're working with Kubernetes and want a fully automated Git-driven approach to manage your applications and infrastructure, then GitOps is an excellent choice. It provides version control, rollback capabilities, and continuous deployment. In conclusion, DevOps provides the foundation for modern development and deployment, while GitOps enhances it by using Git for infrastructure automation. These approaches complement each other, and many teams use both to optimize their workflows. To learn more about GitOps, be sure to watch our video on the fundamental of GitOps. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights. Feel free to leave your questions or share your experiences with DevOps or GitOps in the comments below.